Hello, this is Paul from quickandmobile.com. We are a beautiful November day in Florida. It's still hot, it's still sunny, despite the sun starting to set. And we are at the proving ground, the hill. And I'm gonna label this or call this the hill of despair because we have acorns in our path, we have gravel in our path, we have an unbalanced and bumpy road, and we have areas that are significantly steeper than an ADA ramp or steeper than eight degrees to go up and to go down with this specific location. And we are going to test this with the Electra 7 power folding wheelchair. This has approximately 21 inches of space in between the armrest. 20 inch wide cushion holds up to 400 pounds with the armrest spacer kit. You can have approximately 24 inches of space in between the armrest. There is one area that you can find all the information that you would want about the Electra 7 and other chairs, quickandmobile.com. You can call us. You can plug this into your web browser on your phone, quickandmobile.com, or directly on your computer. Don't go anywhere else. Quick and mobile for more information. But before we get into that, I'm going to hold on to this card, and we are going to go ahead and keep this in full speed. No problem at all. I'm going to kind of back this away so I can kind of focus here. And if if you're a regular wheelchair driver, you understand looking at this, first and foremost, the camera can't really fully capture the degree of slope. And you understand that when you're going over uneven slopes and grades that are not flat and that have debris in the way, this is pretty much just about a worst case scenario. The only thing that would be worse is actually driving it on loose sand in the beach, which we all know it doesn't do, or having this in a wet, icy condition. This is about as bad as it gets, and I'm, I'm gonna take this in the worst route possible. And you're going to see how I handle this chair when it gets into trouble, because it will get into trouble. I'm 100% certain of that. These chairs w historically have a challenging time with this sort of terrain. So let's see what we can do. Two 250 watt motors going into my first very uneven area here. I'm not giving it full gas. Right through some of the worst of the worst area right here. I've got acorns. This chair doesn't even flinch with the acorns. I'm just kind of keeping the joystick straight up. Now if I give it some gas here, I can accelerate and I can go pretty fast. So I'm not really having a difficult time at all. Up, of course, is easier than down. I weigh about 220 pounds, and now I'm going to turn left. We've got more up to go, stopping, and you can see that gravity wants to take me down. So I'm going to turn the chair right, and let's take a look here. I'm, I'm not choosing to go to the right-hand side where it would be the smartest course of action. I'm going to go where there's a, a bit of a, a divot in the road and a, kind of an, an uneven lip. I'm gonna go in the worst case scenario and I'm gonna position it so I go to the worst case scenario. Going up, this is, this is probably about ADA grade slope and I can drive here all day long, it's no problem, it's very easy. I take my hands off the joystick, the electromagnetic brakes naturally stop. I'm gonna turn the chair around. For those of you, if you're just tuning into our YouTube channel, we do a lot of videos about the Electra 7. I'll just show you a couple real quick features about this chair, the flip up armrests, the flip up footrest. People absolutely love those features just because it's easy to get in and out of. And of course the chair is a very sturdy chair. I don't have any problem balancing my entire weight on the arm rests of the chair. You could subscribe to our YouTube channel. We do so many of these videos, but if you're a regular wheelchair user, you understand down in an environment like this is a bit shakier than up because up, at least you're fighting gravity down you're going with gravity, and if you get caught into a slide, it can be a bad situation. 
This has two 250 watt motors, positive traction, and I'm just going to, again, I'm going to, I'm going to pick the worst path that I can possibly go. So I'm going to go over the, the steepest bump over here, and then there's going to be a hard right. And this road is just littered with acorns, acorn chock full of acorns all over the place. I'm going to stop. Okay, it stopped. That's no problem. This is the first real kind of danger area. I stop. So you see, I just take my hand off the joystick. I stop. I don't fight it when I'm going into a slide because these chairs, you go on a good slope down, it, it just happens. I don't care what chair you're in. If you're in a tank, maybe it's not going to slide, but those tank chairs that have the tank treads, they're not portable. They're not lightweight. They don't weigh 50 pounds like this. They're not FDA approved as medical mobility devices and you can't take them on an airplane. So let's start again. Going in the worst case scenario here. Worst possible case scenario. I'm just going slow. I'm taking it easy. And you can see that even though there's a bit of a slide, I'm basically turning away from the direction the chair slides. I'm inching it down. Now before I take the easy path, which is just going to the right and enjoying the beautiful lake, I'm going to go again, the worst possible case scenario. Look at that acorn rolling down. It's just waiting to get run over and cause another slide. So we're going to go down here. This is uneven. You can see the wheel sliding. I'm actually turning into the slide. I'm not turning away from it. I'm turning into the slide. You can see the chair stops easily. This is probably the worst case scenario here. If I make a mistake, I'm, I'm not going to be having a good day anymore. So now I'm turning away and I'm going up. This is very uneven ground right here. I'm completely in the clear. And we can see I took the Electra 7 really through the gauntlet. This is not the type of terrain that you would want to drive and have a comfortable feeling doing so. But you know what? You can do it. The chairs I just showed you, it's, it's capable of doing it. There's a reason, folks, that we do not edit our videos. There's a reason, folks, that we don't put fancy music or Hollywoodize the videos. I show you, I tell you the truth. This is challenging. The chair did it, no problem at all. And again, if you're interested in finding more information about the Electra 7, it's quicknmobile.com. Again, quicknmobile.com. We have a wealth of information and you can feel welcome to subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Thank you so much for watching.